Good morning YouTube viewers and subscribers. Uh, today I'm at my new engine running location and I also have a new engine that I've never run before on the bench today which is the Russian made MK17 uh, ignition combustion engine. So as it would happen I didn't come or I ended up forgetting one or two things that I needed so Oh well, it is what it is. Still a learn, learn, little bit of a learning curve here for trying to pack all this stuff up and come to a different location. So this is gonna be the first run of this engine and it's brand new, so it's gonna be a break-in run. Uh, obviously, those of you that watch my channel know that I'm really not all that familiar with running ignition compre compression ignition engines. So I'm considered quite the noob when it comes to this. I am going to try and incorporate the things I've seen from watching Brian Cox's videos on running diesel engines and hopefully I'll have some success. So like I said, this is going to be a break-in run, possibly rather boring. Uh, I've got Davis diesel fuel that I'll be running. I have I just happen to put what I a few, you know, what I had left in a seafoam container. It's another metal container, but it's smaller. Um, I don't have a whole lot of fuel. So we're going to see if we can get this engine to run and at least start the break-in process of it. I have my tack here, but I'm not really sure how relevant that's going to be, uh, seeing as it's a break-in run. But I have a rather large prop on here. I think this is an APC 9.5. Um, just trying to put a rather large prop on there so I'm not spinning it up uh, to full RPM on these initial runs. So let's uh, see how this does.
Okay, so that's uh, where I'm going to end this first run of this engine. Uh, I didn't really go through a whole lot of fuel, which is okay. I want to let it cool now. Um, see how long it takes to cool down so I can maybe do another run with it. It took a long time for me to get this started. I mean, a long time. A lot of hand flipping, which obviously I'm not showing in the video because it was pointless. Now Brian Cox made it sound like he's never flooded a, a diesel engine, ignition, compression, ignition engine in his life. Well, he may not have, but I think I did. Either that or I was just way off on the initial compression setting. Uh, it felt fine, but I popped this prop loose probably 15 or 20 times and I had to retighten it. And uh, I finally got it to where it would pop and I wouldn't touch it then. I would prime it a little bit and then it would pop and then I attached the fuel line to it and it started drawing fuel and then that's when I really turned on the video again but it took a lot of effort to get this going I may not even let this thing cool fully before I try it again um, I may just fire it up again right now and see if it'll run the rest of this tank out